Let's go on an adventure back to 1931, when Porsche first started. Imagine a place where dreams of fast, awesome cars came to life. Porsche created legends that everyone loves. Fasten your seatbelt. We're about to speed through the story of how Porsche became a star in the world of cool cars. But guess what? There's a lot more to Porsche than just its famous cars. In this video, we'll uncover some fascinating facts about Porsche that even diehard fans might not know. So, if you need speed or love Porsche more than your morning coffee, you definitely want to take advantage of it. Number 1. When Porsche unveiled the 911 in 1963, it was originally named the 901. However, Porsche had to change it due to some legal fuss from a group called the Peugeot. The Peugeot, acting like the stereotypical Karen, threatened to sue Porsche for copyright infringement. Apparently, the Peugeot had somehow managed to copyright every three-digit number with a zero in the middle. Since Porsche didn't want to deal with a lawsuit over a single digit, they replaced the zero with a one. And thus, the 911 was legally christened. Number two, Porsche demonstrated the active air suspension of the Panamera Hybrid in a unique way. They connected it to the gyroscopic sensor of an iPhone. Interestingly, when the developers handed the phone to the journalists, they included a note, don't flip the phone, we haven't tested that yet. Number three, when Ferdinand Porsche's son, Ferry Porsche, learned about Soichiro Honda's policy against employing family members in the company, he restructured Porsche in 1972. He believed the company had outgrown its status as a family business, so he invited outsiders to join the board, essentially removing his own family from the industry. Upset by this, Ferdinand Alexander Porsche, son of Ferry Porsche, ventured out and established Porsche design in 1972. They gained recognition for their high-quality watches and sunglasses, notably creating the world's first black chronograph watch. Porsche design operated independently from Porsche until its acquisition in 2005. Number four, did you know Porsche and Ferrari share the same horse logo? Yep, it's true. But here's the twist. Porsche's logo comes from their hometown crest in Stuttgart, Germany, while Ferrari's horse pays tribute to an Italian fighter pilot who took down a German plane over Stuttgart during World War I. Two iconic brands, one shared symbol, and a whole lot of history packed into that horse logo. Number five, the Porsche logo always points down to the valve stem of the wheel, a neat detail. Number six, no Porsche has ever featured a traditional grill. What you might mistake for a grill is an air vent. Unlike grills, which define a car's face and brand, air vents on Porsches serve a purely functional purpose. This unique design element stems from Porsche's history of rear engine placement, rendering a front grill unnecessary and contributing to their distinct style. Number seven, did you know, Porsche isn't just about sports cars. They also design award-winning forklifts. Talk about versatility. Number eight, Porsche offers optional leather air vents for around $1,700 because who wouldn't want their vents to be as stylish as their car? Number nine, Porsche knows how to make a profit. On average, they take a whopping $17,000 profit for each car they sell. To put things in perspective, Toyota only makes about $2,700 profit per car. Number 10, ever heard of the Club Sport package? It's like a secret upgrade for your Porsche, but there's a catch. While it's free, you have to first shell out for bucket seats to be eligible. Once you've done that, you get a bolt-on rear roll cage, a six-point driver's side seat belt, a battery kill switch, and even a portable fire extinguisher. It's the ultimate enthusiast's dream, but comes with a price. Number 11, Porsche's doors are unique. They don't have fixed positions. You can leave them at any angle and they'll stay put, adding a touch of flexibility to their design. Number 12, Porsches are really reliable. Surprisingly, most of the 911s made in the last 60 years are still around today, either driving or sitting in garages. Number 13, in 1965, Porsche introduced the 911 Targa. They anticipated a potential ban on convertibles in America, so they innovatively created a semi-convertible model, staying ahead of regulatory changes. Number 14, Porsche once made a simpler version of the 911 called the 92. It had a smaller 1.6 liter engine and was lighter. They made it from 1965 to 1969 and again in 1976, but they stopped making it so it wouldn't take attention away from the regular 911. Number 15, back in 1978, Porsche had big plans to replace the iconic 911 with the 928. They believed a front engine sports car had more potential. Yet here we are, 46 years later, and the 911 still reigns supreme. Number 16, from the cool 60s to the flashy 90s, the Dutch police used Porsches as their patrol cars. Why? Well, these cars were great for handling reliable and fast. 
Plus, with their engines at the back, they could even chase bad guys in reverse for a long time. And believe it or not, that was a convincing argument the police used with the government. Number 17. Let me blow your mind with this. In 2017, the Porsche Cayenne S diesel pulled off a jaw-dropping feat. It towed an Airbus A380, a behemoth weighing a whopping 285 tons. Number 18. Out of the factory, only two 18 Porsches were made without any extra weight, saving precisely 14 pounds each. That's some serious dedication to keeping things light. Number 19. Porsche has won more than 30,000 races in motorsports, showing their skill and determination. Number 20. Check out the first 918 Porsche ever made. It's called a prototype rolling chassis. They built it to test new technology before making the real cars. It's like a sneak peek into the future of Porsche cars. Number 21. Meet the Edgar Lohner C2 Phaeton, maybe the first ever Porsche. It was made in 1898 by Ferdinand Porsche. It used a mix of gas and electricity to run, making it super innovative for its time. Number 22. The very first appearance of the famous Porsche logo was on the steering wheel of the 356 way back in 1952. But get this, it took another seven years before it found its way onto their hubcaps. And guess what? It wasn't until six years later that it proudly adorned their hoods. Number 23. Driving a Porsche isn't as tough as it seems, especially with all the fancy driver assists nowadays. But back in the groovy 60s, things were a bit dicey. Porsche got creative though. They attached cast iron blocks to their bumpers to beef up traction. It was like having training wheels, but not quite as effective. Number 24. Back in the early 2000s, Porsche crafted a powerful 5.7 liter V10 engine for their LMP race cars. But when regulations changed, they couldn't use it anymore. So they got creative and built a whole car around it. That's how the legendary Carrera GT came to be. And let me tell you, it sounds absolutely magnificent, like music to your ears. Number 25. The 992 GT3 RS presents a distinctive feature by lacking access to the engine bay and foregoing front space altogether. Number 26. In 1994, Jeremy Clarkson was able to quickly reach the hospital to say a heartfelt goodbye to his father, thanks to the high-speed capabilities of a Porsche 928. Number 27. Feast your eyes on this vintage beauty, the Porsche 9959. Beyond its rally heritage, what sets this car apart is its gearbox, known as the Galand gear. Porsche claims the G stands for off-road, fitting for a rally car. However, some speculate it was used to help the car pass noise regulations. With the first gear replaced by G, the car starts in second gear, reducing noise levels. What's your take on it? Number 28. In 2008, Tyler McQuarrie raced a Porsche 993 GT2 RS in Formula Drift. This car packed a powerful 3.8 liter twin turbo engine, generating 750 horsepower. It was known for its speed and the smoke it left in its wake on the track. Number 29. Porsche almost faced bankruptcy, but the Cayenne helped turn things around. Interestingly, they once considered making a Cabriolet Cayenne, but it didn't catch on with customers, so they scrapped the idea. Number 30. Porsche is part of the Volkswagen Audi Group, VAG Dom. Porsche AG, the main entity, owns most of VAG. It's confusing because Porsche and Porsche AG are legally the same company. Number 31. Porsche partnered with Remac to create the Bugatti Remac Group. Porsche owns 45% of this venture, while Remac owns the rest. Remac is being mentioned, but Porsche isn't even though they own a big portion of the company. Number 32. Don't be fooled by the badge. It's not a VW bus, it's a Porsche B32. Porsche needed a van to carry spare parts for the 959 rally car. So they upgraded a little VW with a 911 turbo engine and suspension. But don't go searching for one yet. They're worth around $400,000. Number 33. Porsche is at the forefront of innovation with its development of e-fuel. This biofuel, derived from water and air, emits zero CO2 emissions and behaves similarly to traditional gasoline and engines. Scheduled for availability before 2030, this initiative holds promise in preserving the internal combustion engine's relevance sustainably. Number 34. Porsche has created many legendary cars, but the most iconic is arguably the 917. It secured Porsche's first Le Mans victory and still impresses today. Its most powerful version from 1973 boasted over 1,600 horsepower from a twin-turbo V12 engine. Recently, 
A 917 model sold for over $14 million, making it the priciest Porsche ever sold at auction. Number 35. The first 25 Porsche 917s earned the nickname Secretary Cars. When Porsche faced delays assembling them, they enlisted office staff, including secretaries, to ensure the race cars were built on time, and they succeeded. Number 36. Porsche offers a unique program called Paint to Sample. This program lets you choose any color you want for your Porsche. If you're considering buying a new Porsche and you've got some extra cash, why not go all out? Let Porsche paint your car in a custom color. Imagine the looks you'll get when people see your one-of-a-kind paint job. It's worth considering, isn't it? Number 37. Now here's a twist. Porsches are facing a unique problem, headlight theft. Yep, you heard that right. It seems the Panamera and Cayenne have a design flaw that makes removing the headlights a piece of cake. A German engineer tried to make life easier for mechanics, but it seems it's made things a little too easy for thieves. Number 38. Between 1956 and 1963, Porsche produced over 120,000 tractors. That's a lot of farming power packed into those years. Number 39. After a 17-year hiatus, Porsche made a grand return to the 24 Hours of Le Mans in 2014. Excited to have them back, Audi greeted them in their own unique way. But three years later, roles reversed, and it was Audi's turn to bow out. Heartbroken and slightly dramatic, Porsche tried to win them back, but alas, Audi didn't return, and Porsche departed a year later. Number 40. The wing on the GT3 RS is the first production wing on a Porsche to rise higher than the car's roof. It's all about that aerodynamic edge. Number 41. In the 1950s, Reuter crafted the bodies for Porsche's 356 models. Their exceptional work led Porsche to acquire the body-making part of Reuter, allowing the company to focus solely on interiors and other specialized components, eventually rebranding as Ray Caro. This acquisition is a testament to the quality of their craftsmanship. Number 42. In 2020, Porsche broke the record for slalom racing. A 16-year-old racer, Chloe Chambers, steered through 51 cones in just 47 seconds. It showed how good the car is. Number 43. Feast your eyes on the 956E. It's a beast. At 322 kilometers per hour, it generates so much downforce that it could practically be driven upside down. Porsche found it so impressive that they hung it upside down in their museum. Now that's a sight to see. Number 44. The Porsche 924 was actually created by Volkswagen, but Porsche ended up with the rights. Even though they were made in an Audi factory, they're still considered Porsches. Number 45. From 2000 to 2016, EA Games had an exclusive deal to feature Porsches in their games, making it difficult for others to use them without permission. Some older games substituted Porsches with other cars like RUF. Number 46. In 1939, Ferdinand Porsche engineered the Mercedes-Benz Type 80 to create the fastest car in the world, capable of reaching speeds up to 595 kilometers per hour. Unfortunately, due to the outbreak of World War II, the vehicle was never put to the test on the track, leaving its ultimate capabilities unproven. A uh, number 47. Since its inception in 1963, the iconic Porsche 911 has never been manufactured outside Stuttgart, Germany. Number 48. If you own a Porsche, watch out. They have a feature called the Overrev counter that tracks how hard you drive. So if you drive recklessly, your car will remember, and it might cost you later. Number 49. Porsche added a special flap on the 928's gas cap with oil OK to remind owners to check their oil each time they fill up. A typical German attention to detail. Number 50. Porsche is quite particular about the pronunciation of its name, so much so that they released an official video guiding viewers on the correct way to say it. The video's tone suggests a hint of frustration, almost as if they're explaining it to children. And yes, we say it wrong most of the time in the video on purpose. And there you go, our list of Porsche facts. Did we miss any? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe for more exciting content like this.